I am a nerd. And I am very open about my lifestyle. I don't mind telling you I spent my last Friday night reading a sci-fi novel on my iPad and staying up until 3 in the morning playing World of Warcraft instead of going out on the court. See, my grade school t-ball trophy sits somewhere in the back of my closet collecting dust next to a ribbon from the time I had to play soccer. <laughs> but my speech and debate trophy still proudly over my bookshelf next to some figurines I got from a collector's edition of an anime. They're not dolls. <laughs> Most girls who say they like nerds don't actually like nerds. They like what they think is a nerd. They like Michael Sarah. I apologize, but Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings have just become mainstream. You see real nerds dress up as wizards and go to medieval fairs. <laughs> and those sorcerers can turn Ron Weasley into a newt. And yes, that is a reference to the greatest wizard movie of all time, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> Putting on a pair of thick glasses does not make you a nerd, nor does it make you a hipster and or ironic. If anything, <laughs> If anything, it makes you a poser. <laughs> really, nerds are the hipsters, kind of. I've been using a Macintosh computer since I was two, before the iPod, iPhone, iPad. I've been wearing glasses since I was seven, and I don't even know how to put in contact lenses. <laughs> nerds have been staying up all night playing Halo, fun of what every high school boy did. And we watch movies and play video games you probably haven't even heard of. <laughs> I want a real nerdy girlfriend. One who, even if she doesn't play World of Warcraft, understands why I love the world of Azeroth. One who I can cuddle with and watch Hayao Miyazaki movies. And will be spirited away into a castle in the sky. <laughs> True love is naming your favorite Pokemon after your boyfriend or girlfriend. Nerds have hearts too. <laughs> If you want to get laid, you'll stop playing World of Warcraft, she told me. So I stopped, and so two weeks later she broke up with me. <laughs> I wasn't getting laid when I was playing WoW, and I wasn't getting laid when I wasn't playing WoW. So I decided that if I wasn't going to get laid, I'd re-enter the world of Azeroth, and spend my time right trying to play demons and dragons and skeletons, instead of pretending like whether or not I played WoW had any effect. Because, you see, nerds are some of the greatest people. We don't care about the color of your skin, gender, or your religion. We care about how good you are at playing Halo and Starcraft. <laughs> and if you're not so good, there's always time to learn. You see, nerds have been rejected so many times before that as long as you're accepting of us, we're accepting of you. And there are so many different kinds of nerds. You have math nerds, with some sense algebra nerds, geometry nerds, calculus nerds, science nerds, with some sense biology nerds, chemistry nerds, physics nerds, with science fiction nerds, with computer nerds, video game nerds, internet nerds. Film nerds, anime nerds, also known as otakus, and the list goes on. <laughs> but these are not divides within the nerd community, no, they are sources of comradeship. Now, I find them stupid, crazy, no worries, I've long since given up the notion that I'll be popular. I am the uber nerd. <laughs> but, if this interests you, I welcome you to the cult of cult classics, obscure jokes about old video games, and other geeky trivia. If I have promised cake, I do apologize. The cake is a lie. <laughs> do not drink the Kool-Aid. Drink the caffeinated drink of your choice. We'll all be up until 3 in the morning playing Super Smash Brothers and Mario Kart. I welcome you to our misunderstood but accepting family. Also, I just lost the game. <laughs>